Hi everyone, this tutorial is to how to target Maximo animation to Unreal Engine 4 character or an, uh, skeletal mesh, Unreal Engine 5 skeletal mesh, and Meta Human skeletal mesh. Uh, this animation or this retargeting process need to have a skeletal mesh made by someone else uh, in the internet. Uh, you leave the link for it so this way you could download this uh, skeletal mesh uh, once you're done we will able to retarget the animation to meet a human from maxima and this is the final result of the uh, animation retargeting to one of the characters of meet a human so let's start we will start new unreal engine 5 project I'll select games, blank, blueprint, remove the starter content, and then I will call it Mixmo to meet a human. Create new project. Over here, I'll right click, and then uh, add import content, add feature content pack, and I'll select three, third person, add to project. Move the third the character back to the third person character. And like we did before, we delete the character folder. Close it and delete it. Once this step is completed, we need to create an account for Maximo. You go to the Maximo, it's a free, uh, free software or actually free webware. Uh, you could sign up for Maximo and you could able to access all these animation and all these characters for free. Uh, there is animation here tab for all animation. It's a lot of animation and also character. You could use one of these character, but what we are using, it's the characters that we will talk about, which is, um, is being created by someone else. I'm not sure who's this person, but, uh, I appreciate it. He did this way. So, um, to upload your character, you had to click upload character here and ask you to drop and uh, drop uh, drag and drop the, uh, your character so my character that's the the guy created it's for Mexmo called Mexmo UE4 a skeleton for a skeleton you drag it and you dropped it over here once it's completed um, you will see the Unreal Engine 4 character replacing this character So once is this is over here, this is under the engine character. What I need to look, I need to look for animation for T pose. And then apply this animation to my character. And then I need to download this character. Uh, this is had to be FBX uh, with the skin and you click download. Once downloaded, you move it. You move this file to a location in your um, in your folder. I'm gonna paste this one over here. So this is T pose. Uh, it's better to change it to some something else. I call it Mixmo SK Skeletal Mesh. Then I'm gonna need to pick up any animation I like. For example, let's pick up this this one. So once I completed this part, I just gonna click I click download. This time we need to download without skin, just need to download the animation. You click download and then the animation only will be uh, downloaded. 
also move it to your folder that's you have the uh, the T pose on once you have done uh, this part you're gonna go with Unreal Engine 5 right now uh, what you need to do you need to import the skeletal mesh first so you click uh, you create a folder here called Maxima and also under the Maxima I need uh, three folders one folder called character I need another folder I will call it animation and I need another folder I will call it rigs so in character I need right mouse click and then you import the Maximo skeletal mesh and uh, in advance be sure everything here is similar the most important do not click this part use to as reference pose had to be off and you click import all once it's completed you can organize the materials if you want to but anyway um, this is the t-pose animation we do not need this animation all right and then we click save all and um, in animation I right mouse click import the animation that you are uh, downloaded from Maximo use the skeletal mesh for Maximo so you go over here and look for Maximo skeletal mesh import all and this is the Maximo animation all right the next step is we are going to the third person characters you go to mannequins UE4 you go to rigs and IKU4 mannequins just drag it and drop it on rigs on the maximum one not move but you need to do copy so in the rigs right now for maximo have the uh, IKU4 mannequin rigs for the maximum I'm sorry for the for the regular mannequin so I'm gonna reference it to the maximum so what you need to do you right mouse click and you go to asset action and bulk edit via property metrics you go and select uh, imported skeleton and over here we need to use the maximum mill skeleton once completed you go file and save all and right now this this one is being used uh, this is as maximum skeleton all right. the next step change this one from IKU4 or actually call it Mixmo so right mouse click animation IK targeter and you're gonna see IK Mixmo called RCT Mixmo all right we have right now the Mixmo one we got to target to the uh, mannequin that's for uh, Android Engine 4. So right now, that's what we have. And you click save and you close it. This way, uh, the person who did create this character, so instead of keep going and just altering and fixing the bones and the, the bows to be matched with this pose, right now the this is a maximum pose which is completely match the Unreal Engine uh, 4 pose so we do not need to to do any adjustment on the the pose this is this is the main thing so uh, I'm going to 
go to the animation here and uh, this for Maximo and I need to retarget this animation to Unreal Engine 5 because this is still Maximo this is not Unreal Engine 4 it's a skin for the the uh, Unreal Engine 4 skin or the character but it's not the same pawns and everything so uh, what we need to do uh, is just right mouse click and you click retarget animation asset and duplicate and over here we will select retarget maximum this is the maximum one and this is the mannequin one this is Unreal Engine 4 uh, so I'm gonna retarget this animation to the third person and characters and I go use the mannequin 4 and there is a folder called animation there I'm gonna retarget to this animation folder not the mannequins this is for Unreal Engine 5 I'm talking about mannequins for Unreal Engine 4 UE4 you select OK and you click retarget and right now this is the animation that's the Unreal Engine 4 character right this is the one make it easy for us you click save all right now and because we already have retargeting uh, from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5 character so we're gonna use this one to retarget to Unreal Engine 5 character so um, the mannequins here this is Unreal Engine 5 characters so in animation I'm gonna retarget this animation to Unreal Engine character right now so what I'm gonna need to do um, in animation of Unreal Engine 4 I'm right mouse click on it and I said I need to retarget a duplicate retarget and then I will choose at this time the the source from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5 this is what I need so uh, it will retarget from this one to this one you change the folder to be the third person characters this is Unreal Engine 5 mannequins and the animation I will select OK and I click retarget once you go over there under animation here you will see the character for Unreal Engine 5 character is being uh, the animation is being transferred to this character so um, once we've done this part it's easy part is to uh, to transfer to meet a human if you want to so um, let me collapse all these folders and I will go to Quixel and download one of my characters I will download this person it asks you to restart save everything before you do anything now you have the meta human you have the character here I call it Mustafa uh, I double click in the blueprint so you can see what's inside first of all you have the body this is the character I have uh, by the way like uh, in meta human like if you go far away you could see there is no hair and if you closer the hair is there uh, to to make it this go away just uh, be still with the hair if you go away or not uh, you could go to LOD and change the force LOD to be zero so if you go far away or if you go forward closer to him you still have hair compile and save anyway uh, this is just a tip uh, you go to the body you go to skeletal mesh uh, so this is a skeletal mesh for this person anyway um, let's go back under meet a human I'll create a folder call it animation
Right now, I have the, the third person for Unreal Engine 5 animation under mannequins. I'm right mouse click on this one, retarget animation, duplicate, and I will select this is from the mannequins from Unreal Engine 5. If you look at the tip down there, you're going to see the passes game, meta humans, uh, common, uncommon. Uh, so what we're looking for it's uh, at the tip that tell that tell me that I'm using retargeting for the uh, Unreal Engine uh, mannequins. This one. So you select this one. Uh, so it's from many to many, which is it's fine. But in in second many, that we will change it to the meta human. We're looking for the character for meta human. Uh, most likely it's um, tall body yes I'm co this using this one all right and I'm changing it to uh, location for the animation for meet a human and our target that once that's completed if you double click you will see the animation has been completed for retargeting for meet a human um, to see how it's going to look like you go to to uh, Mustafa and you go to the copy or drag and drop this character and over here in detail you could go to body change the assets to be animation and look for the animation that you already have here you go to this one if you if you click play right now you will see the character is uh, playing the animation of the uh, maximum